Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a product review video for you. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the new alcohol markers by Nuvo. These are by Tonic Studios. And I'm also going to show you all the different colors that you can get and they are available right now. I'm going to show you how you can use them and how they blend out. And we will also going to play with the skin tone set that is available at the moment. Before I go ahead, I want to let you all know that this is not a sponsored video. I wasn't paid to do this review. These markers were actually sent to me by Tonic Studios to test them out and uh, they didn't ask for a review, they didn't ask for anything, so this is going to be an honest review and I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of using these markers. So these are the alcohol markers by Nuvo. They come in uh, this package and they are actually called Nuvo Creative Pens. They are alcohol markers and they come in sets of three. So in every set you get a, a darker, a medium and a lighter shade of the color, which makes your job really easy since you don't have to look for matching colors to blend. I'm going to take this out of the packaging and I really like the packaging that the, just because at the back you get these uh, color swatches along with their numbers and uh, if you want to know which marker goes with uh, which set it's uh, nice to hold on to this packaging so that you can uh, reference it if you need so. And later in this video I'm going to discuss a little bit on how I'm going to store all these swatches. Now let's take a look at the marker. As you can see, it is tapered. So when I let it uh, on my table, it doesn't roll. They are really comfortable when you are holding them. And uh, on the bigger cup, you get uh, the color swatch as well as the number. And you can see the chisel tip that you get from one side. I'm going to write down so you can see how thick that is. And now uh, on the other side, you don't get a color swatch at the end of the cup. But uh, you can see that uh, you get a nice fine tip uh, nib, perfect for those little details. What I love about these markers is that unlike other brands of alcohol markers, the cups are very easy to open and close. Just make sure that you hear that uh, click sound when you place the cup on so that um, they are nicely secured there. And by the shape of this marker, which is really unique, you can really tell which side is the fine tip and which end is the chisel tip. But there is a disadvantage. So when I keep them laying there, just like you see the two ones on my table, you can't really tell which color it is. And uh, you need to turn them around so that you have to see what's on the top of the cup. And that's why I'm doing this here. I'm using the chisel tip and I'm going all around the cup and it's a good thing that it's white so that it shows the color and now I know exactly what color it is and it's easy for me to grab it from my table so I went ahead and did that on all my markers and they really helped a lot I have been using them for a couple of weeks now and I found that not knowing which color is which laying on my table was quite difficult for me since you don't always see the side where the color swatch is so this uh, totally solved the problem and it's not a disadvantage anymore and to tell you the truth, this has been a great swatch. So I think that um, the line that I have all around the cup, the one that I have created, is actually closer to the actual color of the marker than the swatch at the top of the cup. And I'm trying to show you this here. So it's a really great tip if you have these markers, go ahead and do that. It's going to help you a lot. And if you open and close a certain marker a lot, if you use that marker a lot, that uh, line of uh, color around the cup might uh, wear out, but that's not a problem. It's so quick and easy to draw that line again. The barrel is quite big, so it's going to last you a long time, but it is not refillable. However, the set of three costs uh, about $6, which means that it's only $2 per marker. Plus, they are actually on sale right now at scrapbook.com. You will find all the links down below and you will get them for even less than uh, $2 per marker. And now let's take a look on uh, the colors that are available at the moment. So you get the reds, the, the oranges, the yellows. And uh, I hope you can see the three different colors that you get in each set on the color swatch there. The greens, the blues and uh, the 
uh, purples, so we have completed the rainbow color there, but you can also get the pinks, which are a must, I think. You also get the um, skin tones, and I'm going to show you later on how I'm going to use those to color um, a face. You get the browns, the grays, and these are all 10 different uh, sets, which means 30 different colors. And there are actually two more sets, the one that gives you the black, the grey and the blender. So the blender is uh, the one that helps you push the ink around and um, you also get this uh, shadow, as they call it, uh, grey, which is great for creating outlines around your images that makes them look uh, dimensional really. And finally there is this set, this is not an alcohol marker set, this is actually water based and um, they have the exact same design and as you can see I have uh, already made my swatches on their cups and they are metallics. So you get a gold, a silver and a copper. But uh, in these uh, barrels you get a different nib. So instead of a chisel tip you get a bigger brush on one end and a fine tip brush on the other. So I'm going to open this up so you can see the comparison. But this happens only for the metallics, the set with the metallic markers. And again, remember that these are not alcohol markers, these are water-based markers, only for the metallics set. And you can see the thickness of the two nibs here. So now I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to show you how I'm going to store all those uh, packaging uh, swatches that I want to keep with my markers. And the idea here is to actually make these smaller so they don't uh, uh, take as much space as they are now. I'm just going to cut out below that swatch line. And uh, the good thing is that when you turn it around you will see the exact same swatch line but again with the numbers. I am going to repeat the same process for all the rest of the packaging and uh, then I'm going to use this ring binder and put everything together. Now if you don't want to hold on to that packaging you can create your own uh, swatches just like I'm doing here. Uh, you will be able to find and download this uh, file on my YouTube channel. You will find a link down below. Make sure that you print out the template on the same cardstock as uh, the one you would use if you are using your alcohol markers. This way you will get the perfect swatch and you know exactly how the marker writes on top of uh, your uh, paper. Now, uh, there are actually 30 different colors plus uh, the shadow one and uh, the blender and uh, the black. And uh, I'm not counting uh, the metallics at all since they are not actually the alcohol markers. And uh, just because there are only actually 30 different colors, uh, the, you don't get that uh, huge range of colors as you would get with Copics or with Spectrum Noir markers, which is an advantage if you are a beginner actually, because you don't get overwhelmed with all those colors so that you don't know which ones you get. With this it's easy, just get the reds, the yellows and the greens and uh, you have uh, three sets to color your uh, flowers. And as I was uh, swatching the skin tones, I mixed up the medium with the darker uh, marker. So uh, my swatch is not perfect there, but uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. So when you are creating your own color chart, make sure that you are not more concentrated and careful than I was. Anyway, I will continue. This is the shadow one, the black and the blender, which of course you can't see anything there. And finally the metallics. So I get the silver, the gold, and finally the copper. And this actually writes beautifully on top of a darker colored uh, cardstock. So I'm going to bring in this black one. Uh, and this way you will be able to see the shine. I'm going to catch the light for you. And uh, these are actually great for many more applications than just coloring. And as you can see here, this is the jar where I keep the water when I am uh, water coloring. And I just wrote there hello with the gold one. And now let's put these markers into use. I have stamped this flower a few times and I'm going to use colors from the same set just to see how they, uh, they work together and how nicely they blend. So uh, for uh, this flower I'm going to start with dark and uh, move on to the middle color and then to the lighter one. Of course you can start the other way around, color with the lighter and uh, move all the way to the dark. 
They really blend beautifully, those red ones. They are gorgeous colors. I didn't make any particular effort to blend them. I'm not even going over the areas to oversaturate them, which is a great thing if you want to have a beautiful blending. But just by doing that uh, simple coloring, it works great. If I was coloring an image for my card, I would definitely spend more time for this flower to deepen the shadows, etc. Or to have uh, more highlighted areas at the top. But even uh, that uh, quick coloring can uh, show me that uh, those three colors work uh, perfectly together for a blending re result. Now, you see that in this petal I went from lighter to darker and it worked beautifully as well. I am going to speed up the process and I will continue using the sets and I will talk over them as I am coloring so that you can see how everything works together and which sets have quite of a problem. So I'm going to finish with the reds and the red set is perfect. I really love it. I love the colors. They are gorgeous and they blend beautifully. Now I will continue to the next one and the next are the, the oranges. And I can already tell from the color chart that these are going to blend nicely since uh, they don't look as they have uh, too many shades apart. Again, I'm not making an effort to over blend them. I'm not over saturating the colors and um, I don't go over and over an area again and again. But you see that it works uh, great. Now let's move on to the yellows. And I have a little bit of a problem with the yellows just because they are very close to each other. The colors are just a shade away which means that it's difficult for me to achieve uh, shadow areas and lighter areas. As you can see the petal, although I have used all three colors, it really looks flat. Of course you can go ahead and uh, use over them the same colors again and again, but you can mix them up with other colors. Nobody said that you need to use the three colors from the same set. And that's why I mixed up the middle orange one. And you see that I am uh, easily blending them out. And so now I end up uh, having a flower that is a mix between yellows and oranges. That has a different uh, color shade than the previous one, but still looks beautiful and blend out. And now I'm moving to the greens. And if you take a look at the color chart, you will see that the lighter color and the middle color are many shades apart, which is going to make my life difficult when I try to blend them. However, if you oversaturate the color and if you go over the color again and again, they are actually going to blend. And I also did the tip to tip technique just to darken my lighter one a little bit. And as you can see, I was I managed to blend them out, and I think this would uh, make a great combination for coloring leaves. Now, of course, with only 30 colors in this range of alcohol markers, it's really difficult to get all the shades that you want. But hopefully they will come up with more sets in an upcoming release, and then we can fill in the gaps that we might have. Now I am moving to the blues. I, again I am starting uh, darker to lighter and you see that they blend like a dream. These are gorgeous colors and uh, I recommend this set for sure. I think that uh, these are one of uh, the sets that they blend beautiful together without any effort like the oranges and the reds. And you will find that as the ink dries, the colors that you thought they didn't blend will blend beautifully. If you take a look at uh, the green now, you will see that it looks perfect. Now I'm going to move on to the purples. And by taking a quick look on my color swatch, I thought that the middle color was a little bit off. However, as you can see in the first petal, it uh, works beautifully, everything blends nicely and I have a good transition. Now on the rest of the petals, I am going to try and omit the middle color to see the results. And I think purples work uh, beautifully together, all in all. And that little flower looks perfect at the end. And I'm leaving uh, the whole video in so you can see the whole coloring and how the markers blend together. Now I am going to move on to the pink ones and the pinks all also uh, blend like a dream. And you can tell uh, just by looking at the color chart how nicely the transition goes from the lighter to the darker color. 
So to conclude, I think that all those uh, colors in each set blend beautifully together, but I would definitely want to have a green one in between the lighter and the middle green, as well as a darker yellow for the yellows set. But uh, even so, uh, you can see that uh, they blend beautifully together. I managed to have a beautiful result. So I'm really happy with all the 30 colors that uh, are in the range. And of course you can mix up colors from different sets and create your own color combinations and not just the ones that I have on my flowers right now. So now I'm going to flip my card and you see that I have stamped this little mermaid at the back and this is where I'm going to try the skin tones as well as the browns. Now if you are wondering, this is a very thick cardstock, it's by Simon's Stamp, you will find a link down below. It works beautifully with alcohol markers and um, it doesn't bleed. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see better what I am doing. So I have started with a darker one, applied the shades where I need them to be, and now I am using the lighter one. I'm not going to use the middle color at all, since I think that just by using only the two colors, it works perfect, perfectly fine. Now once I am applying and blend out the lighter one, I'm going to go back to the darker and just deepen up the shadows a little bit more. Of course you can have uh, more color variations on the skins if you add the lighter pink or if you mix up uh, the lighter brown and um, you can end up with many more combinations. Now I'm just using uh, the set as it is for the skin tones so that you can see what you end up having. I'm also going to add some pink, this is a lighter from the pinks, just to add here some cheeks there. I'm going to blend this out with the lighter of the skin tones and I think she's looking great. Now I'm going to test out the browns for her hair and I'm going to speed up uh, the video since this is not a tutorial on how to color hair but more on uh, testing the colors and how they blend together. But in any case, I am starting with uh, the lighter of the browns. I am working on a different section each time of the hair and I am making sure that I leave some highlights here and there. Now I am moving to the middle color and then I will end up adding the darker color only on the base of her hair and then I will move uh, again from the darker to the lighter one and finish her hair. I think the browns work perfectly fine and if I had more time to spend on coloring her hair, they would look even more beautiful. So the blending is great. I talked a little bit about the colors that I thought they would should be included, like uh, one more shade of green and a darker yellow. I also made a mix-up there on my color chart, but the skin tones are great. I like the darker one and the lighter one in combination. And I did make this mistake just because there was another disadvantage that I found out on the barrel, on the design of the barrel. So on the barrel there is no number of what color that is. And if uh, you take off the caps, like I'm working, I usually work with, by using three colors and take off the caps of all three of them so that I can uh, move quickly. And uh, when I try to put the colors back, maybe I mix up the caps. And since uh, the um, color swatch is only on one cap, you don't know which cap goes where. And I promised in the beginning that this is going to be an honest review, so that's why I'm pointing out all the problems that I found on their design. But again, this is very easy to overcome, so all you need to do is to write down somehow the number of the color on the barrel, on the grey part of the barrel. So for that I'm going to use my sticker label, I'm just going to print out the number and stick it around the barrel. And if you think that this is too much work for you, no need to go this way, just use the black marker and write down directly on top of the barrel the number. Super easy to do, it takes a few seconds and uh, make sure that you do that before you go ahead and use your markers and you make a big mix up. For now, temporarily, I keep all my markers horizontally in this plastic box, this is by IKEA and I keep in this box as well the swatches that uh, are from the packaging, I'm going to keep inside that color swatch that I made as well as the colored flowers so that I know how they are going to look when they are blend. 
However, I know that Tonic Studios has a nice stand for them that you can store them 3 by 3 in sets so that you always know which color goes with which one. So this was the video for today, I hope you had fun as I was showing you all the properties of the Nuvo alcohol markers, make sure to leave me a comment if you like uh, such product reviews and um, make sure to check the links for uh, a discount price on those markers as well as on the rest of uh, the supplies that I used for this video. And if you need more inspiration, here is another product review video that I made a while back. Thank you all for watching!